you had a really strong death wish. Was there some part in your life where you started to get your act together? Yeah, like stop your drinking, have your drug, you get more disciplined, have spiritual interests. So have you been um, psychic as a child? So ghosts and your monsters, so to say. Hello and welcome to my channel, Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang. And I'm Wolfgang. So my gift for you today is this video. It's a guided meditation. And the question is, are you a walk in? Again, are you a walk in? Now, what is a walk in? And now let me just describe this to you here. So, well, about 30 years ago, um, there was this suicidal girl, and she could see auras. She was uh, beautiful, but she complained about having terrifying visions. And so I induced her into a trance. And um, I could already see she was very, very gifted because she could see auras, she could see colors around people. She just didn't know what it was. So I took her to the past life regression, you know, about, you know, the trauma that she has. So when somebody is suicidal, there's always a reason for that. There's a lot of trauma there. Of course, if they have been abused or raped in that lifetime, yeah, that is easy. But uh, that was not the case in that life. So actually, when I went to the crucial past lifetime with her, she was actually you know, a Jew that was being shot in a concentration camp. In a, um, there was a pit, but they didn't want to die. So they set the whole thing on fire. Yeah, and watched in glee. So um, this was the trauma from a past lifetime that was, of course, uh, making this girl so traumatized, this depression, this, this fear and whatever. Uh, so we took care of this and we ascended this being into the heavens. And um, then I proceeded to... Um, asked what about the terrifying vision and she said it was this being that just terrified her so i called it out and it was a reptilian yeah i mean it looked um, quite scary but it was actually a reptilian of the good kind it was very loving and um, so that was of course the proof in a pudding <laughs> And um, actually, uh, what has happened is that because this girl was suicidal, I mean, I could see the scars on the wrists, right? And they were actually the right way, not the wrong way. Um, so this being, an aspect of its soul, um, has taken over um, the body it was a rocket. Now, it was a very advanced being of unconditional love. <clears throat> that incarnated in this body. And because um, the old soul, the one was, was suicidal, that got, um, you know, burned in the pit, um, gave up on that life. And so it made this deal with this other being. So it's like leasing a car. And so somebody can't afford to lease anymore, and is sick and tired of the car, and somebody comes, all right, I take this car off your hands, I take the lease, I don't want to go through the whole process of looking for another car, means going through childhood again. Um, and you might say, well, it's going to cost this many hundred dollars a month, and the back wheel, there's something going on, and the brakes over there, and yeah, you know, the other one, yeah, I got this, I fix this, you know, VIP, you know, covered, so all your emotional stuff, it's being taken over, so this is what happened. <clears throat> and <clears throat> another very typical case, mm, 
20 years ago, um, there was this client um, who was a very heavy duty drug user. You know, pills, syringes, anything that was there. Also alcohol, I mean, really going on a self-destruct course. And then suddenly this person started kicking the habit and getting the straight job and taking care of the children. Uh, wonderful man. So uh, we cleared all the ghost infections from the drug and alcohol use. And then it turns out that um, this man was actually a walking. That uh, you know, it was a being that um, that was a spirit guide in other lifetimes. That was its only involvement with humans, but it never had incarnated in a human form. This has taken this over, and uh, and so took over the karma and had the willpower and and wisdom. You know. To, to kick the habits, to take the necessary steps, and of course to come to me and then, you know, clear this um, really fast and all this trauma. So, in both those cases, there was an upgrade. And from that somebody, ah, I give up, <laughs> I've had it, this is too much for me, to somebody like, all right, you know, yeah, this is not an issue for me, you know, I, I, I got this. This is not always the case. So I have witnessed a case where the body of a very advanced soul got brain damaged from being hit over the head with a crowbar by a person that was being possessed. Yeah, no, no kidding. I can tell stories <laughs> and I, I'm not lying. On this to God, I'm not lying. You know? So after the coma, I mean, it's just a, it was a miracle that this person actually survived. So after the coma, a lesser being was in the body and basically had to carry the burden of the failing body and also, I have to say, the failing mission, you know, to the end of her life. Yeah. Um, it was a great soul, but uh, definitely not the same as, as the one before. So not all walk-ins are necessary upgrades. This is like, okay, I'm sick and tired of my car. Here, you know, you take it and I'm out of here. So this is what happened in this case. And somebody, oh yeah, I'm happy to serve you. I'm happy to, you know, have a car at all. So I don't mind. <laughs> yeah. So that's a walk-in deal. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there are some logical things here, you know, about are you a walking? So what are the symptoms? So, you know, have you been suicidal? Have you had a really strong death wish? Have you been super depressed? Uh, did your life suddenly change for the better. I mean, you know, suddenly a 180 degree um, turn in your life. Before you were like a materialist, a yuppie, oh, let's go and enjoy, you know, climb onto the top of the social dung heap, you know, be on top. And then suddenly, oh, yeah, no, I want to become enlightened, I want to serve the world, etc., like this, something like this. Was there a sudden life change in you? That's another thing. It can also be ghost when you get possessed by a ghost. Uh, but generally, you know, the, the change is not for the better. <laughs> it's always for the worse. You know, basically, you know, it's, yeah, was there some part in your life where you start to get your act together? You know, like stop your drinking, heavy drug, you get more disciplined, have spiritual interest. Mm -hmm. Now, something that I noticed with the Walkins, the original, you know, the hosts, so to say, they were all very psychic. You know, so this was good DNA. You know, they could see auras. 
they will go into the other sea, into the astral plane so very easily. As a, as a healer, I could drive them like a Maserati, just go, go there, you know, and there, there, they can do. It's awesome. So they're not, um, so those walk-ins, they're not picking necessary um, the dummies. Mm -hmm. So have you been um, psychic as a child? saw ghosts and were monsters, so to say, yeah, or had telepathic connection, mm -hmm. uh, or had play friends, you know, imagine, so-called imaginary friends. But then they have to deal with the personality, the ego, you know, that's the, the car that you have taken over. So whatever it's the identification with the body, gender, race, religion, profession. Ah, oh, yeah. So, um, but, you know, this is not the way to identify yourself. This might be just raise some suspicion. Ultimately, we have your high self. And we will be doing this in this guided meditation. So, first of all, we asked absolute source of everything, nobody above, beyond, cause of everything, absolute source, to surround us with this aura of love and light. It can only be penetrated by love and light on all sides, on all dimensions, throughout space and time. And also we ask that this aura of love and light transmute our own darkness in us, of course for the highest good, in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. And we also ask that everything that happens in and from this meditation here is going to be and very joyful for the highest good in divine harmony, most benevolent outcomes, lots of fun, um, very purifying, and that we are completely protected from any false information that whatever you know resonates from us will be maybe accepted but whatever does not raise, resonate with us will be rejected amen 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 and now first of all um, connect to the earth goddess we have to be grounded and relaxed so imagine pouring your love into your heart and send your love back through your feet, through your root chakra, and establish this breathing back and forth, all the way in, all the way out. Smile like an idiot, in and out, all the way in. Your feet probably get warmer now. Back and forth. Yeah. And of course, we asked our angels and spirit guides to surround and protect us and to clear any resistances that are there in our connection with the Earth Goddess. Whether this, whatever that is, um, 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 keep on breathing deep in, deep out. Mm -hmm. And now start putting your tongue onto the palate and on the inhale pull as much love into your heart from the earth as you can. On the exhale push it out the top of the head. You can give it a nice clockwork spin and try to get as high as to the ceiling. So I would say two, three meters, yards. Mm -hmm. Deep breathing. Smile like an Indian. Mm -hmm. You don't want to make a bad impression in the angelic realm. Yeah. Okay. And now start pulling the love from heaven and earth simultaneously into your heart. And on the exhale, just expand this around your heart. Warm your heart. Smile like an Indian. Breathe like a bellow. And warm your heart with this heaven and earth love. We yeah, are deep, deep, deep breathing and smiling. Go. Mm -hmm. 
Now, as you have a nice love vibration in your heart, invite your female high self, that's your goddess aspect, to be in front of you. Amen. And just keep on smiling, you don't want to scare her. And you might just feel a presence, most of you will just feel a presence, some of you may see a light or a humanoid being, some of you may even see some kind of gorgeous form, have seen it all so far, yeah. And smile, smile, smile and send your love to this high self. Mm -hmm. And see if this keep on sending, pumping it in from heaven and earth and sending it to your high self, to the heart or center of it. If it doesn't like it, you know, reject it, it's not your high self. If love comes back, it's your high self and continue. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so let's assume that your high self is there. Now ask your high self to give you a clear yes and um, let me just define a clear yes. A clear yes would either be, of course you can hear it or see it like a thumbs up or head nodding, but it can, the way I'm asking for it, um, a flow of energy from the heart into the head, like an upflow of energy, it feels like an upper feeling let me just show you right now it feels like this if you could feel that maybe not I'm gonna do it again Now ask your own high self to give you that feeling, to give you that feeling of a yes, now, amen. Okay. Now, if you couldn't feel this, I'd tell your high self to jack it up a lot. Maybe you even have a dial, imagine a dial and cranking it up. Ah, oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. And now, asked you, you asked you a high self to give you a no. Let me just show you a no. So now is the flow of energy from the heart to the feet, like a downer feeling. I make it one more time. Okay, now ask your high self to give you a, a no, amen. And if you couldn't feel this, ask that that no be made a lot stronger. Crank up that dial in your imagination and ask for another no now, amen. Well, if you didn't get anything there, you might want to use the pendulum or do something else. <laughs> first question, first of all, am I a walking? Yes or no? Last one more time, am I a walking? Yes or no? And one more time, am I a walk-in, yes or no? Now ask, when did this exchange happen? No, let's ask again, at which time in your life did this exchange happen? And I'll give you a little tip, there was probably something traumatic in this time. So we discussed this, right? So when did this exchange happen? And you may also ask, where do I come from? From which star system? Oh, 
asked, are you mainly from a subterranean dimension? Yes or no? What type of race? Humanoid? What type of race? Reptilian? What type of race? Insectoid? Ask, what is my mission in general? Now ask, what do you want to manifest in particular? Now ask, what are your biggest obstacles? the pain body from the host. The biggest load on the pain body is this from this lifetime, yes or no? The biggest load from the pain body is this from a past lifetime of the host, yes or no? And some of you may get this now. Now let's ask, what was the what happened in the first incarnation of the host? Some of you may have visions, but there are easier way to ping this. Ask, was in that lifetime the host a man? Was the host a woman in their lifetime? What was the occupation of the host in that lifetime? What kind of death was it? What kind of trauma was it? Was it betrayal? Was it abandonment? Was it lost love? Was it torture? Was it physical pain? Was it something else? We also ask now that the angels and the ascension teams please bring any ghost and trauma from a host that is still stuck on the astral plane to the Arcturian love healing and ascension temples and help them to ascend now through forgiveness and the mercy of source. Amen, amen, amen. We also ask that through the mercy of source, any curses that have affected the host or that the host did in this or past lifetimes be cleared. Amen, amen, amen. That also the host karma be cleared as much as possible. Also maybe including ancestors if this is possible through the grace of absolute source. Um, um, um. And we also ask that any ghosts that are attached to the host also be escorted into the Arcturian of Healing and Descension Temples and giving a chance to ascend to the heavens through forgiveness and mercy of Source. Um, um, um.
Now ask what is the host's largest trauma in this lifetime? And what is the host's largest trauma from a past lifetime? And we also ask that the original personality of the host, any ghost in case, we you know be also brought to the Electuidian love feeling and ascension temples and given the opportunity to go to the heavens mm -hmm. through forgiveness and grace of absolute source. Now, of course, you have to make a difference if you are walking, you know, you walked into the personality and memories of another person. You are not this person. You are, maybe you can identify as a spirit soul. I mean, actually everybody <laughs> should identify as a spirit soul, but you are this, the consciousness that walked into this prepackaged thing. Mm -hmm. So now I asked um, what are the different biases of your own soul compared to the biases of the host? And now we asked our spirit guides and our star helpers, our star brothers and sisters that are coming from love and light to help us to fully integrate on this our walk in nature, you know, with our soul, with our original soul, you know, where we are coming from, mm -hmm. so that we can properly transmute um, the host into the most auspicious form for the highest timeline with the most benevolent outcomes. And we thank all those beings that came and helped, that protected us. We ask them to please keep protecting us and helping us, guiding us to the highest good, of course, in conjunction with our high self. And if there are still any negative energies or entities, or devices attached to us or stuck in the astral, they should be removed. Please bring them to a place where they be of highest service to the Creator and also be happy. Now, um, um, um. And then, of course, return all aspects, all the soul fragments of our soul that can return to us now and integrate them perfectly into our mind and body spirit complex. Amen, amen, amen. And also upgrade our mind body spirit complex to the best, most divine blueprint that we can hold at this time. Amen, amen, amen. And once this is done, synergize everything and then charge up to optimal levels of life force. And then lock this in so the energies cannot be stolen or contaminated by the dark side. Um, um, um. And then surround us and our twin flames with this powerful aura of love and light that can only be penetrated by love and light, transmutes any darkness within us. Um, Amen, amen. And now you're fully grounded back in vacant day consciousness again. Well, my friends, <laughs> welcome back to this reality. So are you walking? Yes or no? <clears throat> um. Well, we all walked into this body. We all walked into this body from a big perspective. 
there is nothing as a Jewish soul or a German soul or a Pleiadian soul necessary. We all, as a soul over time, inhabit all kinds of bodies. We inhabit animal bodies, plant bodies. Sometimes we inhabit planets or mountains. So we are in galactic currents. Our soul can inhabit and experience who are kinds of life forms or anything that resonates and vibrates. So to think that you are the form or that you are the car is really not getting it, right? So if you are walking, you know, you basically took over another car lease. Mm -hmm. And just now, it's not you. It's the personality, whatever you inherit, whatever this body did before. It's not you. But in a way, you're responsible for it too. It's just like if your daddy is an alcoholic and goes on a bender, and then the next day you have to apologize to the neighbor. It wasn't you, but somehow you're implicated because it's your dad, right? So this is the same relationship that as a walk-in you have to this personality that you inhabit. Of course, this is also the same attitude that an enlightened person has <laughs> to the personality that they inhabit. Right. So if you like this, um, watch the other videos. They're all, you know, different feathers of a big, you know, cap, in a big cap. They all are important. They're all covered. They all are tools for ascension. The expansion for our consciousness from 3D to 4D to 5D. You know, I have over 100 videos out there. Just please be courteous and give me a thumbs up and um, leave comments there. Um, I read them all, and uh, when they're intelligent, um, I answer them too. Intelligent questions, I, I love to answer them. <clears throat> and if you can afford it, definitely, and you know, you act strongly to these meditations. Uh, I strongly suggest that you take a personal session with me and put you on a fast track. It's definitely worthwhile. Uh, it's going to be a lot more powerful than those shotgun guided meditations that we're doing. So, I love you. Just keep smiling like an idiot. Watch the other videos. Namaste. <laughs>